Good morning. Uh, yesterday, the 8th of November 2011, I attended a meeting with Queensland Rail Management in Brisbane. Uh, two other uh, members of the travelling public were invited from the Ipswich line and we were not restricted at all to talking about uh, Ipswich Railway line matters, but we were able to discuss both urban transport and long distance transport as I did. And uh, uh, a large number of issues were discussed and noted and I provided a uh, two-page submission on urban and long distance transport in Queensland. So that QR management now has that and that uh, they uh, have given uh, uh, an assurance that the issues that have been raised will be uh, fully examined and uh, in other words I expect at least some of those ideas to be uh, implemented at some stage. Uh, one of the uh, issues that I discussed was the possibility of building a railway station at uh, Normanby on the uh, Exhibition Loop line in Brisbane and uh, two platforms uh, 11 and 12 at Roma Street on the actual uh, loop line itself just past the junction of the main line where the trains enter Roma Street. Of course, the reason for that is to provide um, pedestrian subways uh, into uh, Roma Street and out onto the actual streets of, of Brisbane itself from that platform so that people could transfer to other trains at Roma Street. And the idea of the Norman B station, of course, is to uh, have direct access undercover uh, in an integrated way with the inner northern busway. And uh, as I pointed out, uh, this is like the Dutton Park situation and the management certainly understood that very, very well uh, where they have uh, six platforms, uh, four of them for rail and two for bus. Uh, rather oddly in that case, it's called Dutton Park on the rail uh, side of it, but on the road side it's called Boggo Road. However, uh, the idea is exactly the same. That... Um, Passengers would have that access and also uh, the, the capacity of uh, the suburban service would be greatly increased. And as I pointed out, uh, it is far better to have a three car suburban train every 15 minutes than it is to have a six car suburban train every 30 minutes. And there's a, a tremendous opportunity to have a lot more express running and uh, the three of us basically agreed with that, of these so members of the public, and we had three man from management, and uh, that was agreed to be uh, very worthwhile considering that uh, to get people to the outer suburbs, uh, I suggested what I call a three R's service, which is actually uh, express from Roma Street to Red Bank and all stations to Rosewood, uh, as a permanent all-day fixture and that all uh, peak hour trains would be simply additional to that um, pattern which would be uh, half hourly express and a half hourly all stations but provided by three car trains and other, other than the peak hour when it would be six car trains uh, both to that pattern in other words and additional trains added in um, I also talked about uh, the QR long distance train services, uh, in particular about the stainless steel cars which are available or will come available uh, in uh, 2014 when the uh, uh, Sunlander train to, from Brisbane to Kansas is replaced with a 12 car uh, tilt train, which incidentally uh, is actually a reduction in service, not an increase. Um, but I wasn't going to bother, you know, arguing about that or trying to uh, complain about that. I've, I've raised it in the past and I'll raise it again. What it does mean, in fact, is that for many people it's going to become more difficult to book uh, their um, seats and sleeping berths, in particular, of course, uh, on the Brisbane Cairns route. Uh, in my case, I um, get a... Uh, concession card every January and almost immediately I book two 
uh, return trips from Brisbane to a destination such as Cairns uh, or uh, Longreach or Mount Isa or uh, Charleville. So uh, my intention in the future is to do Cairns once a year or the line itself. I may not go all the way to Cairns next year. Might get to Cardwell, for example, but uh, the whole point is uh, to travel on these inland routes before they get cut out. And as I said, um, look, these trains that are currently running on the inlander and uh, Spirit of the Outback and the Westlander are to be condemned in 2014. Now, they didn't argue about that. I think they looked at me in a, the face or expression of shock and, uh, and that I knew that those trains were to be condemned and uh, there's no, no uh, plans to replace them. And a certain people do not want buses. They do not want to travel by bus from Townsville to Mount Isa, for example. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, so my plans or my ideas, in other words, of uh, much more frequent service was uh, very much appreciated. And we talked about the airport uh, line being extremely expensive because it's a private company that... Uh, that owns the line, but it's QR trains. Of course, anyone arriving uh, from, by plane and hopping on the train would f feel that they're on a Queensland Rail service when in fact they're not. And they're paying a fare which is up to four times higher than the, than the uh, uh, TransLink fares. And also I pointed out the chaos that occurred at the um, Brisbane exhibition uh, this year when they uh, only had single tickets. There were no returned or daily tickets available. Uh, that was acknowledged and uh, I said we need a day rover style of ticket and we need uh, a pensioner ticket like they have in New South Wales which is uh, $2.50 for unlimited travel by bus and train and ferry for the day uh, over a very wide uh, distance. In fact uh, I used it last year to go from uh, Burwood in Sydney all the way to Newcastle and to the Newcastle airport all for $2.50. Uh, these points were taken, in other words, and uh, many many issues were discussed. So um, I, I put all of that, in other words, onto the record, and I do hope that there will be action on that uh, in the next uh, period of perhaps 12 to 18 months. We should see a few things occur, and at least I had a role to play in suggesting them, and in fact, they were well aware that people do prefer a three-car train every 15 minutes rather than a six-car train every 30 minutes. I, I believe that's on their agenda. And as I pointed out, well, I thought that the last timetable with all the express trains in the morning and into Brisbane and home in the afternoon was only uh, uh, an experiment in the sense I uh, want the first step towards having express trains all day. That was basically uh, not, although not actually admitted as such, they, the body language was that they understood that, that I, what I was talking about that was quite true. Well, anyway, thank you for watching.